Over on Canvas, you can download this worksheet file. And once you have it downloaded, just click on File in your Adobe Illustrator menu, and then Open, and select the file from your downloads. We'll be using these four worksheets to start practicing using the pen tool, the shape tools, and get a feel for changing the stroke color and fill color of our shapes. So first thing, I'm gonna zoom in, and this shortcut is the same as in Photoshop, so I'm gonna press Command plus a few times. You can still hold spacebar down and you can drag your screen if you need to in order to get to where you want. Before we get started, we do need to make our options bar visible, which by default usually is not showing up. So to do this, you're going to click on the word window at the top, hover your mouse over workspace, and click on automation. And when you do this, you should see your options bar appearing right under your menu at the top of the screen. First, we are going to select our pen tool. And at the bottom of your toolbar, we have a fill color and we have a stroke color. The fill is the solid square, which will be the inside of a shape. And the stroke is the outline. That's why it has a hole through the middle of this square to indicate that it is your outline color. For these exercises on the first page, you really only need a stroke color. So I'll leave my stroke black and I'm going to do a no fill. So with my fill swatch in front of the stroke swatch, I'm just going to click this little none box at the bottom. So now there's no fill and our outline is black. Using my pen, for the first line, all you have to do is click your mouse on each numbered anchor point. And as you click, You'll see a line extends from that anchor point. I'm not holding anything down. I'm simply clicking on each point. And that's it. Any geometric shapes with the pen tool are very easy to make. You just click at the corners. You'll notice when you get to point seven that it is still trying to create a path. To break this line off, you can go right up to your selection tool. This works like the move tool in Photoshop. I'm just gonna click once and now my line is finished. Next, we're going on to constrained curves. To complete this section, again, with your pen tool selected, you're going to click and drag at the same time. I'm gonna click on point one and drag, I'm not letting go of my cursor, until this handle lines up next to number two. See how that dot at the end of the handle lines up? Then let go. Then I'm going to click on three, and at the same time, I'm gonna drag down to four. Click and drag all at once. And then repeat this. Click on five, drag up to six, all in one click. I'm going to click on seven, drag to eight. Click on nine, drag up to 10. Click on 11, drag down to 12. And then finally click on 13, drag up to 14, and this line is done. Again, just click on your selection tool, it'll break that line for you. And then the last line on page one is the same process as what we just did on the second step, but this time you're pulling your handles at an angle. So I'm gonna click on one and I'm gonna drag diagonally until my mouse is over two, and let go. I'm gonna click on three and drag diagonally down to four. This handle here is a little bit too long in the worksheet. So just click and pull upward until your curve is approximately lined up with the dotted line. And for seven, you're gonna pull down to eight. Again, this handle needs to be slightly longer. So just try to get it lined up to the best of your ability. If it's not perfect, that's okay. All right, we're done worksheet number one. So we're gonna pause there and move on to part two.